you may be wondering, what is Cowden syndrome? <music> My name is Caitlin and today I wanted to sit down with you guys and talk about Cowden syndrome. You may be wondering, what is Cowden syndrome? Cowden syndrome is a rare genetic medical condition that involves your P10 gene. And people with Cowden syndrome, like myself, have a higher risk of developing a variety of different cancers that would include breast, thyroid, kidney, colon cancer, and also melanoma. Along with a higher risk of developing cancer, people with Cowden syndrome also deal with a range of other medical conditions that would include sensitive skin, GI tract issues, food allergies to gluten or even dairy, some type of vascular malformation, learning disability, or some type of learning delay, oh, and also a benign type of brain tumor on the cerebellum known as Lumerte Duclos disease. Like what I mentioned before, I have Cowden syndrome. Even though I was just diagnosed last year, my story does not start there. I have to take you guys back. I have to take you guys back to my junior year of college. That's when we found out that I had a benign brain tumor known as Lumerte Duclos disease. And that is also when we were first introduced to the word Cowden syndrome. But it wasn't until I graduated college and came back home to Chicago where I found out the tumor eventually grew and I was to the point where I definitely needed to have brain surgery. That is where my mom and I definitely wanted to know if I had Cowden syndrome or not. We both have very strong feelings that I did have Cowden syndrome due to my entire health history. I pretty much checked off the entire criteria for diagnosing someone with Cowden syndrome. So I had the test done in the end of July of last year. And we got the results on August 11th and it came back positive. My mom and I were definitely very sad, but also greatly, greatly relieved that we finally had answers to not only what I was going through right at the moment, but my entire health history. For example, would be my early onset thyroid issues starting at the age of 10. We just thought it was to do with my mom's side of the family. Thyroid issues deeply run in her side of the family. So that's what we thought. We didn't think it could be anything else, but it was. So there was that. I also have a large head, circumference of the head, I should say. And once we found out about the brain tumor on the cerebellum, that checked off something else. Along with that, I also have a learning disability, so there's another thing. Yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> Once we got the positive results for Cowden syndrome, they wanted to start early detection for breast cancer. Since I had my thyroid taken out at the age of 18 due to a goiter, I will actually post the photo right here to show you guys what my thyroid looked like and the reason why we had the ginormous thing got taken out. Years before we knew what Cowden syndrome was. Years before we knew what Cowden syndrome was. So the next one would be breast cancer. So while things were getting figured out, tests moving forward, such things like that, I found a lump on my right breast. I actually filmed my breast cancer story, so I will link the suggestion for that video right here if you guys would like to check that out. To make a long story, sh to make a long story short, I ended up being diagnosed with breast cancer known as DCIS ductal carcinoma in situ in both of my breasts at the age of 25 years old. So through that, we had a long time to figure things out. So when we found that out, we wanted to get the best information as possible. So my mom and I actually got multiple opinions, even here in Chicago, and we also traveled to Cleveland Clinic where we met Dr. Yang and Dr. Pat, Pat Peterson, Pat, Pat, 
Peter Pat Patterson, I think that's how you say her last name. Patterson, I think that's how you say her last name. And she is the breast specialist. So when we saw her, the majority, she said, was the same as Chicago. But she also was able to fill in the blanks more to people with the P10 gene mutation. And one of them was the sensitive skin and how people with the P10 gene mutation react to radiation treatment. And so I was like, oh, oh, okay. I know exactly what I want to do. I ended up having a double mastectomy on April 21st of this year. I actually also went through my second reconstructive surgery on August 2nd. So that is my Cowden syndrome story and a little background of what Cowden syndrome is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and also subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it very, very, very much and I will see you guys in the next video.